lights out. What are the purple lights in here? You think this is a nightclub? Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Wait. <laughs> I'm going home. Wait. <laughs> no, you gotta see this, you gotta see it. You get the remote You out. get a remote. No. <laughs> what color you like? Off. I like the purple. <laughs> no, if anything, purple. I like purple. Purple? Okay. Yeah. See, and then we can get into... <laughs> Turn the flashers on and they flash. Oh yeah. Oh man. And then we can go. We can do. You have way too much time on your hands. Oh, I, now we, I we thought you were supposed to like haul stuff for a living. I do, but I'll have to play too. <laughs> We had to move the trencher up the road a little bit. Uh, they didn't want to unload it right there, so come up here, and now they are already pulling the chains off and gonna put it on the ground. Connected those links, it lifts the neck off of there, which pulls the pins, the pins out. Board goes under to support it. Lock pin gets pulled out of the back. Then it'll pull this off the trailer. See all the air and electric disconnects right there. There's the back locking pin. It comes out right there, and the neck comes off. So they put blocks under the front of the track to kick the front of the machine up, which helps lay that big arm down on the neck of the trailer nice and flat so it's not sticking up. Now we're going to boom this down, lift the front of the machine in the air to pull those blocks out so they can drive off. So he keeps his boom down and he's slowly walking that chain in to kind of be like a, a wheelie bar. He'll set him down nice and smooth right here and then he can pick that up off the ground. So you're hooked on your latch. Probably don't want to break that. There you go. Okay, now he's got to back that little tab right there into that hole right there. And what I say in the pins on the bottom that the neck lifts off of, these are the holes they drop into. So when it's locked down, it can't slide forward even if that let loose. Now that's latched. So now Mike's got a fancy trailer that has airbags. So he can cheat and just lower the air to pull that block out. Hey, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Mine's all mechanical walking beam, so we didn't have all that fancy stuff. You're young, you can handle that kind of stuff. I'm old at heart. Uh, it's the miles, Mike. It's the miles. It absolutely is the miles. You know, I so. 
I didn't have the airbags, but I had the fancy flip up feet right here so I didn't have to mess with the block. See, see, you do have some cool stuff. You did have some cool stuff. Did, yeah. yeah. So now that that pin is latched, this can't fall down. That blocks out, fifth wheel's released, pulls forward as that runs down the ramps. That gap closes up. All those pins dropped in. And now we can connect the links. Now that the links are hooked up, when he backs under, it lifts the trailer off the ground. And now we're hooked up. Just got air and electric here, air and electric there. Clean up the mess. So, so here's the glamour shot. Quality drilling and blasting in bar seven heavy haul. They were together there, now they're together now here. They're <laughs> So you can see Mike way back down there in the mirror. He's got it back all the way down here, all the way past these trucks and stuff right here to then pull out forward with that uh, 12 axle. Now he's gonna cheat and back to the other side of the rock pile here and then turn around. He's still backed a few hundred yards. We'll flip the pin. There's a pin right here that locks it straight so that this part doesn't pivot, but he's still got to back up the front two parts. Where's your fancy air switch? Did you find it? I found it last time. I don't know where it is this time. You moved. Oh, it's I see. the same. I moved the switch. Is that what you were going to say? I moved the switch? I don't know. You drew holes on the trailer that weren't there before. <laughs> I moved the switch. My trailer didn't have the cool air switch. I had to like pull the pin out by hand and stick it back in. Mike's fancy though. Problem is this being so short because it pivots right there. With that being so long, it'd be like impossible to back this up. I'm sure Mike could do it though. What's that? Back this up if you had to. I just did. Unpinned. Unpinned? I, I, could, I, I couldn't do it for like 10 feet. It's about my, yeah, about yeah. 10 feet until it decides to do its own thing. Yep. And then it's just like, okay, now we start over again. <laughs> yeah. Now I pull back twice as far forward as it's we were to straighten it out to back up half as far again. It's like watching the boat ramp on 4th on, uh, of July weekend. Yeah, just, it's an oversized boat ramp. <laughs> so that pin has some pressure on it now because from backing up, this being trying to turn a little. So when he pulls forward, that pin will pop up free out of there and then this will be free to turn again. But you see where that pivot is, it can only turn this way, not this way. All that happens up there, and that beam goes all the way through to these axles, and that deck goes up over the top of them to here, and that's how it spreads the load evenly between those axles and those axles. So once that pin frees up the pressure on it, it just disappeared down in there, it goes down, not up, I was wrong. But now that's free to turn, and he can spin this thing around right here student driver. See if he wipes out the mailbox.
It's almost like he knows what he's doing. See, they got the trencher digging over here. We're in central Oregon, which is basically one giant lava field, so everything around here is rock. We got big rock saws like this. This is one of the biggest in the area, if not the biggest. Uh, right now, they're set up to go down 14 feet. They can go longer on that bar to go 18 feet by adding sections. And it will just saw through any bit of rock like all of this stuff here. And they need to tie in the utilities from over here all the way down this right here. So you can see the line here where he's going to end up going to tie into the, the main utilities of the street over there. guys are shoring up and compacting the edge of this road right here. This is the utility that trench has got to tie into. Uh, the machine, the trencher is 165,000 pounds, so they got to make sure they have a firm base for it right here to run on since it's going to be over next to the edge of the road. Okay, back in the pickup because it's warm here. You can see they're hauling in more dirt and filling in there, getting that all shored up. That's quality drilling and blasting. Uh, they specialize in turning big rocks into little rocks. And there's lots of rocks around here, so you need a really big trench cut in your yard, those are the guys to talk to. Uh, Mike is headed out of here at the low bed and I am headed to work. <laughs>